everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn all about subtraction. And if you haven't seen my last video, I taught all about addition and we're going to be using the same strategies for subtraction. So we're going to use base 10 blocks and the standard algorithm. Let's dig in. All right, so we're going to be working with 5 and 68 hundredths minus 1 and 32 hundredths. So we always want to, I know we talked about this in the addition video, we always want to start with that smallest place value. So what is the smallest place value in this problem? Okay, great, you got it, it's the hundredths place. So we are going to be using those little units as the hundredths. So we have eight of them, let's just take away two. I love how base 10 blocks make it so easy to take away. Okay, how many do you have left? Great, you have six of those left. So we're gonna put the six as our answer in the hundredths place. Then we're gonna move over to the tenths place, that other decimal place. And we're gonna use those longs, since 10 of them make up a whole, we're gonna use those longs as the tenths. So we have six of them, take away three, and what do you get? Okay, great, you get three tenths left over, three longs. So we're gonna use three as our answer in the tenths place. Then, of course, we wanna drop down the decimal point and let's do the five whole, so those flats are my holes, five minus one. Okay, great, you got it, four. So our answer is four and 36 hundredths. Great job. All right, now we're gonna try a problem with some regrouping in it, just so you can see what the base 10 blocks can do for you when you when it comes to regrouping. So I'll show you. So we're gonna do four and 15 hundredths minus one and 32 hundredths. Okay, so now let's start again with that smallest place value. What is five and take away two, five minus two. All right, great, you got three hundredths left. Now let's take a look at the next place because that first one didn't have any regrouping, but let's see what happens in the next one. So I have one long or one tenth, and I need to take away three tenths. Oh, that's where the problem is. So I don't have enough to take away three. So what I do next is I go to the next biggest place, and I think about making what I call a trade or regroup one of those. So I'm going to take one of those one whole. And what can I break it up into that would be helpful? Okay, awesome. I can break it up into 10 tenths, 10 of those longs. Then I would definitely have enough. Okay, so let me do that. Now I've got 11 longs. That's awesome. I can take away three. So why don't you do that next? What would 11 minus three be? Okay, awesome, you got eight. Okay, then let me go over to my biggest place value and I've got three left and I need to take away one. So how much do I have now? Okay, awesome, two whole. So I've got two and 83 hundredths. Great job with that regrouping. I'm glad that the base 10 blocks could help us. All right, now I'm gonna give you one more problem to work on that has some regrouping in it, so be looking out for that. And I want you to decide how you wanna do this problem. Do you wanna use base 10 blocks? Do you want to just do the standard algorithm? You decide, and why don't you pause the video and then we'll come back and see if you got it right. All right, here is your answer. See what you think. All right, thanks for watching today. I hope this helps you in your math class or at home, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.